Okay, let's uh, move on. Uh, we are on uh, agenda item 8C, uh, Commission General Regulation 403, LCD file number R078-11, unit boundary description changes to NAC 504.210, uh, Jamie, Division Chief uh, Larry uh, Gilbertson. Uh, the Commission will consider and may take action to adopt proposed changes uh, to wildlife management area and unit descriptions. Mr. Chairman, for the record, Larry Gilbertson, Department of Wildlife. Okay, this Commission General Regulation is designed to clarify some of the uh, loopholes and, and naming and things like that in all of our unit boundary descriptions for our, our management areas. Uh, the first change is that we're uh, changing these management area unit descriptions used to be described as big game and we're changing that to wildlife so that we have the flexibility to identify areas to manage any and all wildlife. Uh, an example of that is um, we've closed some sage grouse hunting areas in the past and we identify them as our, a big game unit because they're well known to everybody. We've got maps of them and, and so uh, it just makes sense to include all wildlife and um, so that you know, we have that flexibility to manage for whatever reason we might. So that's why the word wildlife is added in there and big game animals are taken away. Other than that, there's a lot of uh, manipulating going on in various units a little bit. Uh, mostly it's clarification of roads. Uh, there's in area six and 14, uh, there was uh, some roads out there that people uh, didn't know exactly where they were and so they've better defined them by adding in some of the terminology like Garcia Flat Road and Huntington Valley Road and that kind of thing. Um, that's between 065 and 14. In between area 10 and 14, uh, we added um, the Bell Spring Road and the Beck Station area uh, to area 14. And what that did is it moved the boundary out there into the valley so that it included all of the ranches along the diamonds that have alfalfa fields because in the past we've been giving out tags for compensation tags in some of those alfalfa fields and technically because they were located in area 10 those tags should have gone to area 10 but they're area 14 deer they're just coming down off the hill off the bench and get in the fields right there so we moved that boundary out so those fields are actually in the the mountain range and unit they're supposed to be in uh, that was really the only reason for that one. Uh, area 10, we've added a new unit. It's 109. It affects 104 a little bit. And we added unit 109. And that is a little piece of country, no man's land, kind of, between 101 and Spruce Mountain. And it's a kind of a migration trail for deer. It's had uh, bull elk go back and forth across the highway from Spruce Mountain over into this area. And so for years, when we wanted to access those animals that are using that area. It almost has no water. We put a couple of guzzlers in there and uh, <coughs> there's a little bit of use on the guzzlers, but so far there's not, we don't have a significant summering population of anything in there. So it's mostly just affected during the hunting seasons when animals are moving back and forth and through there. So in the past we've been having that, you know, those regulations that say that portion of 104 east of the 3C road north of the Butte Valley and then for the other hunts that don't include that, we have to say that portion, you know, on the other, of 104, on the other, other side of that. So we just thought it'd be easier to identify that clearly with roads and make it unit 109. It'll be just easier for the hunters to see. It'll be on the map. And when they get a tag, and it says 109, it'll be easy to see. For 11, we did some modification of 111. Unit 111 is a similar thing went on there where we were giving out uh, compensation tags in some of the alfalfa fields that were coming off the Shell Creek Range and essentially they, they were good for uh, Unit 114 which is White Pine County's kind of trophy area. They, and so we were giving tags to that unit from deer from Unit 111. So we moved that boundary over there. We actually moved it over there a couple of years ago but then there was uh, some, it needed some clarification to make sure that all the roads connect the East Spring Valley Road and the North Spring Valley Road and on out to the highway. So we've cleared that up. 
Uh, when we make some of these changes, we find out sometimes that we didn't cover every little loophole in the roads. There's like a gap, and somebody will say, well, that piece of road is called the North Spring Valley Road. So then we go, we try to go to the county sometimes and see what they designate them on their maps. We try to look at the Delamere uh, map for the state of Nevada. We try to find it on maps of some sort so that hunters can relate to it and find it. So anyway, that's where that clarification came from. Area 12. Uh, well, we're redefining, there's another place, the Butte Valley 30 Mile Road. It used to just say Butte Valley Road. Well, when you get down near the Highway 50, there's a little stretch that's called the 30 Mile Road for a little ways over the hill, and then you hit the Butte Valley Road, so we, we fixed that wording. Area 15, there's a kind of a significant change there. We split old Unit 151 into three. We split it between the Battle Mountains in the north, Fish Creek in the middle, and the south Shoshone Range in the bottom end. And we're actually going to use that already this year to uh, open up a bighorn sheep season in there. We're going to make a recommendation for a bighorn sheep season on Mount Moses, the Fish Creeks. You know, it'll be Unit 153. I'm thinking historically there was probably some other units in that area because right now it had uh, 151, 152, 155, and 56. So I was missing some units anyway. So anyway, we're filling them back in. So it'll now have units 151 through 156. Area 16 was just, uh, again, some road definition work there. Um, area 17, we did a little bit of, of word change, on, on again, on some roads to make them more obvious. And we also moved the boundaries a little bit in some places to roads rather than county lines. We found places where there were county line, roads really close to the county line. and. So when you just have a county line, we still have some of those around the state, but we're trying to clear that up because if, if you're out there checking hunters and they stop you and say, okay, there's an antelope over there, can I shoot it? Where's the county line? Well, it's out of there off the road about three or 400 yards or a half a mile or whatever it is. So we, you're just moving that to some roads where, where that's close. 245, we made change of one word. We added the word and somewhere. Uh, and down in area 26 and 27, uh, we had to address the situation that Lake Mead went down to record levels, and it was so low that Lake Mead used to be the boundary between them, and it's no longer a boundary. It's the Virgin River and the Wapa River, which you can hop, the Muddy River, you can hop across. So it was no longer a barrier to sheep or anything else. So just to clarify that you know, for, the, for the future, if it goes down that low again or stays that low, um, we moved that to the Virgin River, and so that's the changes you see down there to account for Lake Mead going down. So any other questions on that? That's really what, what it's all about. Okay, um, I think I mentioned anybody have any questions. Uh, imagine we're going to get comments from the cabs. This is uh, an area that's probably right for the cabs to comment on because of their home areas. Um, but anybody uh, have any specific questions? Uh, Commissioner Howell? Uh, how long would it take to change the maps? And uh, and it wouldn't affect this year's uh, hunting season. Hopefully it will, because we want to open that uh, Unit 153 for Bighorn Sheep. And uh, our GIS specialist, uh, from my understanding, was already working on the maps. And he's indicated he can have it done and ready. So hopefully we'll have both the wording and the map. And that would be unusual. That's a good point. Often we change the wording, and the map doesn't change for a while. and gets lost somewhere. So we're working really hard this year to do the map and the wording at the same time. So hopefully it'll all be ready for the hunt book, March 1. Okay. Any other questions from the commission? Okay. This is uh, an informational uh, item, but it's also a uh, 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 public comment item. So uh, do we have any uh, anybody from public uh, in CAPS that would like to discuss unit boundaries? Wow. Endow did a good job. <laughs> That's why they're making the map right now. <laughs> okay. Seeing uh, no public comment on the unit boundaries. Uh